To the Lord our God belong mercy and forgiveness. Because we have rebelled against him and have not obeyed the voice of the Lord our God by following his laws, which he set before us. Jesus said, If anyone would come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. All we like sheep have gone astray. We have turned everyone to his own way. And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. By what we have done and by what we have left undone, we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Welcome to Morning Prayer. My name is Tim Brumfield, Director of Music Ministries, Organist and Choir Master here at St. Gregory's Episcopal Church in beautiful downtown Boca Raton, Florida. I'm coming to you today in Holy Week. If you would like to follow along with me, I'm in the Book of Common Prayer, beginning on page 80. Thank you so much for making St. Gregory's and myself a part of your morning today. Wishing everyone a blessed Holy Week as we start on this journey together towards the cross. Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his faithfulness endures from age to age. Our psalm appointed for today is Psalm 12. It's found in the Book of Common Prayer on page 597. Psalm 12. Help me, O Lord, for there is no godly one left. 
The faithful have vanished from among us. Everyone speaks falsely with his neighbor. With a smooth tongue, they speak from a double heart. Oh, that the Lord would cut off all smooth tongues and close the lips that utter proud boasts. Those who say, with our tongue we will prevail, our lips are our own, who is Lord over us? Because the needy are oppressed, and the poor cry out in misery. I will rise up, says the Lord, and give them the help they long for. The words of the Lord are pure words, like silver refined from ore and purified seven times in the fire. O Lord, watch over us and save us from this generation forever. The wicked prowl on every side, and that which is worthless is highly prized by everyone. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Our first lesson today is taken from Paul's second letter to the Corinthians, chapter 1, verses 8 through 22. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, of the affliction we experienced in Asia. For we were so utterly, unbearably crushed that we despaired of life itself. Indeed, we felt that we had received the sentence of death so that we would rely not on ourselves, but on God who raises the dead. He who rescued us from so deadly a peril will continue to rescue us. On him we have set our hope that he will rescue us again. As you also join in helping us by your prayers, so that many will give thanks on our behalf for the blessing granted us through the prayers of many. Indeed, this is our boast the testimony of our conscience. We have behaved in the world with frankness and godly sincerity, not by earthly wisdom, but by the grace of God, and all the more toward you. For we write you nothing other than what you can read and also understand. I hope you will understand until the end as you have already understood us in part, that on the day of the Lord Jesus, we are your boast, even as you are our boast. Since I was sure of this, I wanted to come to you first so that you might have a double favor. I wanted to wish you on my way to Macedonia and to come back to you from Macedonia, and have you send me on to Judea? Was I vacillating when I wanted to do this? Do I make my plans according to ordinary human standards, ready to say yes, yes, and no, no, at the same time? As surely as God is faithful, our word to you has not been yes and no. For the Son of God, Jesus Christ, whom we proclaimed among you, Silvanus and Timothy and I, was not yes and no, but in him it is always yes. For in every one of God's promises is a yes. For this reason, it is through him that we say the Amen to the glory of God. 
But it is God who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us by putting his seal on us and giving us his spirit in our hearts as a first installment. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second lesson today is from the Gospel according to Mark, chapter 11, verses 27 through 33. Again, Jesus and his disciples came to Jerusalem. As he was walking in the temple, the chief priests, the scribes, and the elders came to him and said, By what authority are you doing these things? Who gave you this authority to do them? Jesus said to them, I will ask you one question. Answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. Did the baptism of John come from heaven, or was it of human origin? Answer me. They argued with one another. If we say from heaven, he will say, Why then do, did, did you not believe him? But shall we say of human origin? They were afraid of the crowd, for all regarded John as truly a prophet. So they answered Jesus, We do not know. And Jesus said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I am doing these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Seek the Lord while he wills to be found, and call upon him when he draws near. Let the wicked forsake their ways, and the evil ones their thoughts. And let them turn to the Lord, and he will have compassion. And to our God, for he will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor my ways your ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. For as the rain and snow fall from the heavens and and return not again, but water the earth, bringing forth life, and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread for eating. So is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but it will accomplish that which I have purposed and prosper in that which I have sent. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We now meditate on the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. 
He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy on us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy, for we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope, and we shall never hope in vain. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. We come to that time of offering our own prayers of thanksgivings and intercessions this morning. We continue to remember Father Ben's mother, Deborah. We remember Anna Thomas's mother. We pray for Tom, for Elias, and David, for Lynn and Tony, for John, for John and Angela, for Ginger, for Scott, for all those who are in the hospital or a nursing home or an assisted living facility, those who may be in hospice care. Be with them, give them strength and healing and comfort. Be with the doctors and the nurses who care for them and for their families. We pray for those who have lost a loved one. For the family of Carl House, for Nancy, for the Chen family, for Sharifa and Sharon, for the Giordano family, we pray for peace on earth. We pray for an end to the conflict between Palestine and Israel for all those in Gaza who are in harm's way. We pray for an end to the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. Be with all those who are in harm's way from war-torn strife. Be with the leaders of our world and our nation that they may make decisions out of love, not hate.
And may we in this country and around the world realize that we have so much more in common than what may divide us. We give thanks today for all those who are celebrating birthdays or anniversaries or some other milestone in their life today. We pray for this church. We give thanks for its many ministries, for Father Sherman and his family and Father Thomas and his family. May St. Gregory's continue to be a beacon of light and hope here in South Florida and throughout the world. And we pray for all those who are making the journey to the cross this week during Holy Week, not just in this church, but churches around the country and around the world as we head into the Easter weekend. And now, Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life. But above all, for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts, we may show forth your praise not only with our lips, but in our lives. By giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days, through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Once again, welcome to Morning Prayer. My name is Tim Brumfield, Director of Music Ministries, Organist and Choir Master here at St. Gregory's Episcopal Church in beautiful downtown Boca Raton, Florida. I'm coming to you on Tuesday in this holy week of 2024. As you see, the sanctuary is still decorated from Sunday with all of our palms lining the aisle and so beautifully uh, adorning the altar. And you may notice from last week, we had a lot of construction going on with the pulpit and lectern construction. This week, they are finished. So I hope that you are uh, enjoying the beauty of our new pulpit and our lectern. They are so beautiful, and we give thanks for all those who have given so generously to our capital campaign to make this beautiful restoration of our sanctuary possible. Our service of rededication is going to be in the form of an even song, a choral even song, on April 21st at 6 o'clock. So we hope that you will join us either online or in person as we come together with our community of South Florida and Boca Raton to rededicate our sanctuary to the glory of God and rededicate ourselves to the mission to which we have been, um, to, to which we have here in South Florida and Boca Raton. If you're looking for a place to worship, we have many opportunities this week. Tomorrow evening, Wednesday at 6.30, is our service of tenebrae, the service of shadows, of diminishing light. It's a beautiful service. It will be a choral service with our school of singers and candlelight. And as the sanctuary darkens, a candle is put out and extinguished, and it is beautiful service. I hope that you can be with us at 6.30 here 
online or in person. Thursday, we have our Monday Thursday service with the ceremony of the washing of feet. That takes place at 12 noon and a choral service at 6.30 in the evening. That will be live streamed as well at 6.30. On Friday, we have our noonday Good Friday service, the service of three hours. That will also be live streamed. It begins at 12 noon. And then on Saturday, we have one of my favorite services, the Easter Vigil. It takes place at 6.30 as well. There will be a service of baptism, baptizing three young children at that service as we journey through the darkness and then into the light as we celebrate the resurrection of our Lord on Easter Vigil, 6.30 p.m., right here in the sanctuary. It will be live streamed as well. So we hope you can join us for all of those services. On Sunday, we have two main services, one at 9 and one at 11.15. Those will feature choral music with strings and brass and organ. I hope you'll join us for the 11.15 will be live streamed. So I hope that you can be with us for those services as well. There will be a 6, I believe it's at 6.30 p.m. Uh, Beach Eucharist, and you can go on uh, line and learn all the different times of all the services if you've forgotten uh, what I've just said. So um, uh, go online and, and view all the different times. There's an array of services. There are an array of services all week long. So I'm going to go online and see who might be with me this morning. As I say, this is one of my favorite times of the week to be with you during morning prayer service. Let's see who might be joining me today. Hey, Danny. Hey, Rebecca. Nice to see you with me this morning. Now let's go on St. Gregory's page and see who might be with me. Oops, there we go. Hi, Sharon and Ron. Wonderful. Thank you so much for being with me. And once again, I invite you to partake in all the different services we have going on this week. Go out today. Make it a beautiful day for yourself and for someone else. Smile. It really does a body good. Do something wonderful for someone without them even knowing it. Be the light in someone else's life today. I'm going to close this out with a final meditation. I'll see you in the morning, 9 o'clock. Thank you so much for being with me. Have a blessed and wonderful day.